morning, evening, afternoon to all the audience who are watching this show right now. Welcome back to Law 346. Okay, today you guys are being accompanied by five hosts, and one of them is me, obviously. Okay, last episode we have discussed about partnership. Today, the newest episode, we are going to discuss about companies. But in a specific, more detailed part of companies is who register the companies? Is it the shareholders or is it the directors? But the answer to that question is promoters. Promoters have not been significantly defined in the Companies Act. However, based on the case of Thai Cross versus Grant, promoters have been defined as someone who undertakes a company and have been given references to set the company going and have the responsibility to take necessary action to fulfill that purpose. Okay, however, uh, certain persons are prohibited to be promoters under this have been stated under section 199 subsection 1. Promoters is not an agent or a trustee of a company. However, promoters have a fiduciary relation with the company they were creating. One of the duties of the promoters is they should not make any secret profit out of the promotions without adequate disclosure. If they have been making any profit, they should disclose it to the independent board of directors or existing or future shareholders. For these duties, let us refer to scene 1. disclose the payment or commission that he received upon transfer of property to the company. Even if the promoter has not received the commission or payment after the company is formed, the company itself may enforce the claim against the promisor that the promisor holds the claim as a trustee for it. Let us make scene 2 as a reference. 
contracts with the company whether as a vendor or a purchaser the fact that he is a contractor should be disclosed to all persons who are invited to become members if the company is a public company the disclosure can be done through prospectus but if the company is a private company the disclosure can be done through AGM or circular for these duties let us refer to scene 3 I have good news. Since we need land now, yes. why not we just purchase one of the other? Yes. What do you think? Uh, for me, just buy it because it will ease your works and our partnership. Okay. Uh, then we also do not have to find another land to be purchased for yeah. our partnership. I think so. Uh. So about the land, is it okay? The location, the condition? Oh, about the condition, I, th I think it's okay and the place also strategy. Okay. So are we dealing with the purchase? For sure. There are remedies of breach of promoter duties where the promoter has act in breach of his fiduciary duty. For example, he fails to make full and proper disclosure of his profit made out of the promotion. So the company has wide of choice for the remedies. So now, what is the fiduciary duty? Fiduciary duty is where the promoter own to the company. So the company will be the proper plaintiff against the promoter. So let me referring to the scene 4. for the rescission of contract and recover the purchase price from the promoters but they may lose their right if the company already affirmed the contract after gaining information about that 
and second where the property cannot be restored to the original uh, state and the last one is property has been sold to another party so let's refer to scene 5 <music> Recovery of promoter's secret profit As an alternative, a company can claim all secret profit made by the promoters um, This can be shown in scene 2 Okay, the last one is damages Referring to scene 5 Company can claim all damages from the promoters If there is a breach of fiduciary duty However, the company must prove the suffered loss Okay, I think that's all for me Thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Daniel Effendi bin Kamal Zaman And I'll be explaining scene 1 Scene 1 is related to one of the duties of the promoters Which is the, pro the promoters should not make any secret profit Out of promotion without adequate disclosure And if the promoters have been making uh, profits It should be disclosed to independent board of directors Or existing or future shareholders in scene 1, the owner of the company want to sell one of their buildings in Ipoh. Therefore, he asked the promoters to find buyer who are willing to buy the building at 100,000 ringgit. The promoters agreed to find buyer for the owners of the company. However, the promoters have been making secret profit by selling the building to the buyer at 150,000 ringgit and the promoters did not disclose the profit that he gained. This clearly shows that the promoters has acted in breach of duties. 
promoters, the company can claim remedies for the breach of duties of the promoters, which is rescission of contract. This means that the company can rescind the contract where the buyer needs to return the building to the company and the promoters need to return the profit that he gained to the buyer's back. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Inamul Akram bin Karullah. I'm going to explain about Sin 2. Sin 2 is related to one of the duties of a promoter which is to disclose a payment of a payment or a commission he received upon the transfer of property to the company. In Sin 2, one of the, the one of the directors promised the promoter to pay him a commission if he settled the establishment of the company faster than usual. However, the promoter did not disclose the promised payment of commission to the other directors. The other directors only knew about the promised payment after the company has been established. Therefore, the promoter has failed to disclose about the promised payment. Thus, the company could recover uh, the unpaid balance of the promised payment even though the promoter has not yet received the full payment. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aisha Humaira binti Muhammad Nazri and now I will talk about scene 3. Okay, what happened in scene 3 actually is talk about uh, duties of promoters. If a promoter make a contract with the company, it should be disclosed. But what happened in scene 3 actually, when a company sell their land that has been divided into 3 lots. And during that time, actually the promoters has formed a partnership. And they decided to purchase one lot of the land promoters. They were disclosed about that. So, it shows that she already breached of the promoter's duty. Okay, actually this scene related to the case Habib Abdul Rahman versus Abdul Kadi. Okay, to whom should it be disclosed? Actually, it should be disclosed to all members in the company. And if it's a public company, it should be disclosed in the prospectus. And if it's a private company, it should be disclosed during the annual grand meeting. Okay, I think that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aini Shafira Binti Azhar and I will explain more detail about C4 that you guys uh, watched earlier. So we already know uh, when the promoter has act in breach of his financial duty, for example, he failed to make a full and proper disclosure of his profit make up, make up from the promotion. So the company has a wide of choice. And we I already explained about the what is the financial duty. So, I will explain again. So, the fiduciary duty is a duty of a promoter known to the company. So, uh, the company will be the proper plaintiff in action against the promoter. I repeat again, the company should be a proper plaintiff in action against the uh, promoter. So, this rule is applied in the case for versus Harvard where the, there are two shareholders that want to, uh, they want to take a legal action uh, against the promoter and one of the director because they uh, already misapplied their company property. So in the end, the court rejected the two shareholder claim because the proper plaintiff in actions against the promoter is the company, not the members of the company like shareholder or the director or the employee. So that so relate to the scene four. In this scene four. Um, the company and the promoter are discussing about the uh, which property that want to be sold. So the company wants to sell a quarter of their building, but the promoter suddenly mistake the information that been given to her. So in this case, the promoter assume that the company want to sell a uh, half of their building. So the company want to take a legal action. Uh, against the promoter. So when the company want to take a legal action against the promoter, like I explained earlier, the proper plaintiff in action against the promoter is company. So the chances to the company to win their claim is high. That's it for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.
Assalamualaikum. My name is Dayang Atira binti Arbiyuddin and I'm going to explain about scene 5. Scene 5 is relating to remedies for breach of promoter's duties. Okay, there are three types of remedies. The first remedy is rescission of contract. The right to rescind the contract can be lost if these three conditions happen. First, the company gain the knowledge of true facts and affirm to and affirm the contract. Okay, the second is when the property or the asset cannot be returned back to its original state. We can refer to scene 5, where in the scene, company have bought the land and there is a breach of fiduciary duties by the, uh, by the promoters. So, they want to recite the contract. However, the contract cannot be recited because um, the land cannot be restored back to its original state because the land has been transformed into a, man, into a lake which is man-made. Okay, that is why the contract cannot be recited. And the third condition is that the property uh, it have been sold to an innocent third party. Also same, refer to scene 5, the company want, wanted to reset the contract. However, the contract, uh, however, the land have been sold to another party. So that is why the contract cannot be reset. The third remedy is company can claim damages for the pro, uh, from the promoter that have breached their fiduciary duties. However, the company must also experience loss to claim damages. This can be referred back to C five, in which uh, the company have experienced loss because the company have to pay. Uh, a markup due to the uh, promoter that won a secret profit and also in also um, in this scene 5 uh, the contract cannot uh, the contract cannot be recited that is why the only way for the company to claim remedy uh, to get remedies is by is by claiming damages from the promoters that that have breached their financial duties by gaining secret profit take one okay Thank you.